Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. What's going on people? Influence here with another review. This time we got Magic Square MSB 27 Voice Ripple, which is Magic Square's legend size sound wave. Uh, and here he is, comes in robot form. So of course I do it from the opposite form most of the time. And he comes in tape form. So I got him in robot form. We're gonna take a look at him. Also this little guy, we're gonna take at both of these, I mean, it's ironic, uh, I say little guy because they're all little. So we can take a look at the box first, nothing spectacular. You see this, that means it's Legends. So it's got some, got like old school, it's the same Magic Square box packaging as it always is. Kind of old schoolish looking, got some artwork. I think that's uh, par for the course and pretty dope packaging as usual. So then you get these accessories, all of these and his guns, which we'll, we'll take a look at that. But I'll, I'll look at these hands. You get this clear Energon cube, I'm guessing. Does not fit on here anyway that I could find, but it does. It can fit inside like that, like he's making it and have it a little out. This doesn't come all the way down, so you can't really like have it sliding out. Uh, this did not come on there. I put that on there, but it did come with stickers. And we'll talk about that in a minute because I have a gripe. I have a few gripes with this figure, but we'll get into it. He has his removable hands. I like when they do this type of stuff. So he has the eject finger and I showed that you can get him to put his finger on the eject button even though the eject button doesn't work and for some reason it has two which I, I don't understand that they could have kept one and left it or gave two of the same hand which is his left hand which is the only side that has the the button so <laughs> I don't know maybe he's reaching over maybe he reaches over he, he can do that so Give it a pass, give it a pass. Have a pointing hands, two, one for each. And you have the regular hands that come with it. There's one fist missing because of course, when you have the extra hands on, you can't transform it with them. That's something I don't like, but I can understand. It's very understandable. So before we look at the figure, let's look at the tapes first, get them out the way. So you get Rumble and you get, I uh, forget his name, but I don't even know if he has a name. It was a, the little Land Rover thing. And Rumble definitely looks good, but when he goes into a tape mode, he does not look like tape. He looks like crumbled up, like in the, if you saw the Bumblebee movie. That's how the tapes looked inside. This guy looks more like a tape. So take it for what it is. This is that little Land Rover. This thing moves. Uh, these things move. Not real wheels. Little fake kind of wheels. And these guys are super small. I don't even know what to compare them to. Uh, they look good next to... Let me see if I can find something. Nah, this is Bumblebee. Masterpiece Bumblebee. And this is how small the tapes are. It's about the size of his gun almost. Uh... Yeah, so these guys are super small. Just just to compare. But anyway, get the transformation for this guy. Super easy. Push that down. Push this in. Push this around. It's on two, two joints. And you pull these around, then you can push push them in. And there you go. Looks like a tape. Looks like a tape. Now we'll get into Rumble. Rumble's a little more complicated, but he's also super small. Let me see if I can get really close. I think it's great though for how small he is. 
Now, one of my gripes with this figure off the back is the fact that they don't include the most popular tapes in the way they're doing business. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if I like it because he comes with him and this guy that don't know what I want. It's nice to have as a side a side tape or whatever, but that's not the main tape. You you don't want that tape. You want him and Laserbeak, most likely. Now, Laserbeak comes with the black version. And then all of the other tapes come in a set. Uh, and it's Ravage, which is one you would want. Um, Ratback. Frenzy and Buzzsaw, I believe. So Ravage, of course, is, is one that you, most people would want. And Frenzy, you would want to go with Rumble. So they're making you kind of buy all three, like the tape set, the black version, and this version to get the tapes that you want. I don't like that. That's not that's not cool. But let's get on with the review. Just just a note. So you have these, I have the pile drivers on, I'll take them off. They go just like almost masterpiece. Uh, bend, bend them down, put them on, just hollow. You have this little notch, little notch there. I get super close. So let's take these off. Uh, get his arms down. And everything's on ball joints. These aren't bad, they don't feel as tight. Some of the ball joints on Soundwave are super tight, but this is like microscopic trans transformers. Now, these guns are so super small. You need a black table if you're going to mess with these because I dropped one and thankfully I stepped on it. That's the only way I found it because I couldn't find it. I couldn't see it. Even, even though it was in plain sight, I couldn't see it for the life of me. It was on a wood floor and I happened to step on it and that's the way I found it. Um, which wasn't good, but it didn't break. So, yay for sturdiness in the back. So you can take these off. As I was saying, I'm gonna try not to lose them. Take them off, super tiny, and they push in because they go on in tape mode. Let me put that there. Take these off. Super tiny again. Put that there. So his articulation, his head moves up and down. He's very articulated. Uh, he, he's on a ball joint. I'm not gonna move it. It does move around. So you can you can move it better if you push it back. But he has wide wide range. It's a ball joint. It's a ball joint. You know how ball joints are. Almost has, well, he has like the waist swivel through the transformation, and you can make him you can get his knees out. And I had him like this in order to have the pile drivers touching the ground. But you have all this, all this uh, as a rocker. So yeah, to transform him, if I remember, got to put his head down, I believe. Wait, no, let me stop first. Because you have to turn this around. Turn these around. Uh, turn these around. Turn this around. Fold this up like that. Put this, uh, does this go like this? Yeah, I think. It's weird because it's just, it's just folded up, really. It's just uh, folded into a mess, a ball of, get this down here like this. And you put these in here like this, like this, I believe. Oh, you know what? These are supposed to be on the inside, I believe. 
denk ik, nee. You'll get the picture. <laughs> Direction suck, which is, of course, a gripe. They, they usually do suck, though. Like, that's something that I don't understand because they don't have a lot of what stuff does or what it needs to do and get this. I'm spending too much time on these tapes, but I did want to show off. And and that's it. It's something like that. Basically it doesn't really look like a tape. And bring a sound wave. They do fit in here, but they're very tight. And Rumble fit is tighter because he has all this stuff. Not gonna put him in. Uh, he he fits a little better because he's more cohesive, more together. I should say. So you see. It looks better with him in there because it's not all hollow and you can't see his head and I'm just gonna leave him in there doing transformation. You can't transform him with, with him in there. So let's get to this guy. Now this has a, this is a little bit troubling because I, I think it's it looks pretty unfinished. It looks pretty it seems like these panels right here should have flipped out. And covered up, maybe pe pegged in there. It looks like they could have made it peg in there. It looks like they weren't done. Uh, yeah, like flip these panels out and peg in at least to cover up this. And then maybe could put a tape back here or something. Just to fill in that gap. Since two tapes can't fit in. The side here seemed... I don't know if they could have made a panel fold out here. And cover this. Cause it's just a, a bunch of mess. This is nice. It's nice little, they don't move or anything, but they're painted and it, it's a nice view. But then underneath, it's a whole mess. I couldn't have from the front and top. It looks fine though. It looks kind of, I mean, it's, it's G1, G1 cassette player. These don't, don't move. All right, let's get into transformation. You just pull these out. And this fill out. This gun has, and I'll show it off. This is shoulder cannon, normal shoulder cannon. This moves. I don't know why. I guess it's just when it's on his shoulder, you can move it up a little bit. Had a lot of flash on it, so it wouldn't stick into store. So I had to cut that off. Uh, you flip that out. Flip this side out. Like even this stuff here, it's it's a mess. It's fumbly. It falls apart. It uh, and you know this is this is subject. And see these these fall out easily. See they're just on like pin. They just fit in there, but they come out really easy. And this folds there, but then these seem like they should have been had peg holes up here to fit in. And I can't for the life of me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Could be, but I don't know. But you, you can unfold this side and pull this off. Just his normal gun. Guns. Oh. Guns nice. Store it like this, but to bring bring out the rest of it, you Pull the handle down. It moves it out and got a normal, normal sound wave gun. All right, so let's get to moving. So we can fool with these legs. Now you want to, they're pegged right there and they're pretty, not right there, but inside. And you'll see it, pull it out, that peg right there, pegs into that hole. So pull both sides. It's a pretty, pretty strong peg. So I guess we'll see how that holds up. I probably won't transform it too many times. But you do know I like to transform my figures. So you just push this panel up. Pull this out. 
push this panel down and then flip this be careful because you can get a lot of uh, a lot of leverage on that could break then with the feet pull the feet out like this then with this there's a notch that this goes into you want to pull that out that notch and then pull this whole this whole thing this goes all the way let's see you can see it this goes all the way kind of tight and you want this notch to be above because then it goes into here and it goes all the way forward and then it flips back into that notch you gotta get it bent into that notch and make sure this is see if this ain't right this has to be uh parallel to the leg there you go you know it's right because then this piece comes up and forms the little top of the knee then you can try to bend this back down into this notch and there you go and you just close it everything's straight then there's a tab there it just tabs on right there kind of see it doesn't doesn't tab that great i tried to see if i was doing something wrong but i don't think i am then we can go over here and do the same thing fold that up fold uh, this up Pull this panel up. Pull this feet out like that. Pull this out that notch. Pull this all the way up. There's the knee that I'm talking about. Do it from this side. Once that knee is all the way up, you know this is straight where it needs to be. And then you can, you see all those hinges. You can hinge this back into into that notch. It's not as hard as it looks. Uh, it's just getting this to fold. Is that at a weird angle? Like getting it into that notch? There you go. That's the reason. Then you can just uh, move it this way and move them down. Move them that way, move them down. So now you got the legs where you need them to be. And pull this up, leave it like that. Pull these arms out. Now this, you want to pull down. This goes in between the legs. But for now, you're going to spin it. But you want to spin this whole thing. Spin this like this. And then spin all three of these. This top that this is on and this at the same time because it spins weird. And you can lift... Lift this panel up too, just so you can get the, the clearance. And now you're where you need to be. You can just push this up like this. So with this, you pull this up and, and unfold this. You can fold this down. His head, push this up. Now, it the way I have it is how it says to have his head not like this but i mean when you push it in it says to turn it around this ball joint though this one right here is extremely this is the last time i'm turning the head around i don't care because it's extremely tight and it feels like i'm just going to shred that ball joint off of the stem and i'm definitely not and you can push this panel up on his back and then this folds down on top of that panel then you're almost home and you just put this down and then push this up like right there goes into those two grooves again down and this panel will come off if you're not careful And there you go, you have Soundwave. Let me put his, I had his, this on the finger, because I like that articulation. Well, he's very articulated. Let's put his guns, put his gun in this hand. It's just a peg, uh, peg in hand. And this just has the notch on it. So notch up there, put this there. 
like I said, it moves. So the only reason for that is, I guess, so you can move it either way. So that's good articulation. And then, so I'll show you his articulation now. Uh, first, well, first, before I do articulation, let's compare him to some more Magic Square figures. Or, well, one Magic Square figure. Which is, no, oh, sorry. This ain't Magic Square. This is New Age Megatron. Love their Megatron. Said it before. Is a perfect uh, Masterpiece Legend scale Megatron. And it scales well with the Magic Square. I don't know how well... I mean, I'm sure their Megatron will scale well as also, but this is the one I have and this is the one I'm keeping and I'm not buying theirs because I think this is definitive for me. It can't really get any better. Theirs might be great. It might be just as good, but for a legend scale Megatron, this is it for me. Um, the paint, everything, everything is just perfect for me. I think they scale well. I think Soundwave was always... Uh, about the same size as Megatron almost. Or he could have been, or he might have been the same size. It looks like to me Megatron is a head taller. I don't know if you can tell. Let me move the camera down a little bit. Right here, it don't look like it. Yeah, he might not be. <laughs> I might be seeing stuff. But in any respect, I think that looks good. Like that looks good. That's how I'm gonna display them together. And that's it. That's the only figure I'm going to really compare him to. Now I'm going to do articulation. His arms, it's all uh, friction. They go all the way around. He doesn't get double joint real good. He has a butterfly. Uh, and he he has the shoulder up about that far. And he has this, this swivel as well, which is just a, you know, it's just a regular arm. But still, his head, I showed you, it can go up. Well, it can go up like this. It goes all the way back. It go, doesn't really go down that much. Uh, it's limited down, but it does go down a little. And it spins all the way around, but I'm not going to do it. This opens up. Button doesn't work. But I like the way that tape looks inside him. And I, I ain't too keen on displaying that tape. So I think I'm going to put the stickers on because some of the stickers you can tell. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But his joints, his, his the mushroom pegs that it's on. Okay, he has a bicep swivel. That's loose. It, it comes off a lot if you move it. Uh, these are loose. His legs are loose. His knees are loose. It is a Legends figure, so it's not heavy. But he does get the splits, but you see how loose his, his legs are. Like, I, I'm not even trying. This gets out the way. It's one piece. I can let it be because it's a Legends, but he gets a pretty good hurdle. And they're not as loose as going out, but they're still pretty loose. He has like a, a waist kind of. I mean, it's an ab crunch. Where it's like a deep ab crunch. You can get you can get that going. It doesn't look bad as far as messing up the sculpt. Knees double jointed. Are they double jointed? Yeah, they are double jointed. You get more than 90. You get to swivel, I believe, in the thigh. Yeah, up, up top. No knee swivel. Foot goes down all the way, all the way. It goes up about that much because it hits up here. His rocker is a little limited because it's inside of here. So, and there's no way it's on a ball joint. So it wouldn't be as limited if, if it wasn't in there like that. I showed up. And I think that's it as far as articulation goes. And just to show it, he can get, I know you saw the picture. He can get to push the button pose. You have to try to maneuver maneuver back and you can see the little hollowness you might be able to get it a little better if you don't mm, yeah it's a little better like that uh, you can still yeah 
think you still get that pose. And there he goes. So yeah, he he's he's great. He's a great figure. I do recommend him. Like I said, I don't like the business practices. Um, I know I didn't show off. Oh, I did want to talk about directions. They suck pretty much on par as they usually suck. Just one piece. Like it's it's really hard to follow, but it's pretty intuitive. And my other great. Oh, he does come with a card. Of course, you know, the card ain't really my thing, but you show it for people who, who it is their thing. It does have tech specs on the back. This card, no discrimination if you like that thing. Now this, this has no direction at all. Now some of these you can figure out for yourself. You know where they go. Like these are the inner working of the tape. That's why I said I'm probably going to uh, stick her up. I like less, I'm I'm more of a less is more kind of guy, so um, I'm going to sticker him up, but I want to do tastefully. I don't, there's a lot of stickers here. I don't know if they all go, well, I'm sure they do, like you got right and left. I'm sure that's uh, part of his, his transformation, but I don't know if that'll look good in robot, depending on where it's at. Like I said, these are just the inner workings of the tapes. So I'm probably going to try to sticker up the tapes, or at least one of them. Maybe not uh, Rumble, but the little Rover dude. But yeah, uh, that's about it. And I haven't found anywhere. If I find somewhere, if you know where the directions are for the stickers, let me know online. I know it's on there somewhere, but I looked and I couldn't find it. And if I figure it out and I sticker them all up, even if I take the stickers off later, I will do another video on him. All right. So I appreciate you watching and I will get up with you guys in another video.